Of all the seasons to get a movie, this had to be the one. Hey everybody, this is David and today I am going to be talking about Power Rangers Turbo, the fifth season in the Power Ranger franchise. And what did I think of this season? This is going to be a fun season to talk about, maybe. So first of all, I want to say that this season started off with a movie. Turbo, a Power Rangers movie, you might have heard of it, was a movie that was released in 1997, I think around March of that year, and the series started in April, a month after. So they gave fans enough time to go see the movie first before the new season starts, and it was the first and only time something like this happen and that's why ever since I look back at this movie and think of it what the failures of it that movie was I think it was because it was too closely connected to the TV show and let's face it a lot of the general audience that watches Power Rangers was not adults so they're not gonna drag their kids to something they probably never watch with them that's a kid thing you know and they don't want to spend their money on a movie that looks like a two-hour version of the TV show. I'll get to that review another time. But the TV show itself, Turbo itself, was kind of... It's not the most popular season for Power Ranger fans. I think it has grown a little bit, gotten a little bit more love as the years went by, but it's still not one of the best seasons of all time, and I'll explain to you why. When people talk about their hate, not their hatred, but their dislike for Turbo, people are usually talking more about the first half of the season, because the first half of the season is pretty slow and dumb. Plus, we have a ranger that a lot of people don't like, Justin, the blue ranger who took over for Rocky from Power Rangers Zeo. Rocky got injured in the Turbo movie and passed his powers to a kid. And uh, this is not one of the most popular rangers, obviously, mostly because of the kid aspect hanging around with a bunch of teenagers. It is weird, and Justin was a little annoying in the beginning of the season, I'll say. To me, I thought Justin was actually toned down a bit in the second half when the new rangers come in and take control of the series. Uh, but I'll get to those rangers a little bit later. Uh, Justin, for the most part, <laughs> he's only memorable to this day because he is the only kid to really become a ranger. And sometimes I think he gets a little bit more hate than he deserves. I think uh, the character, yes, he was a little annoying in the beginning, uh, but I do feel that he improved as the, the season went on. We got some of the returning rangers from Power Rangers Zeo and some from Mighty Morphin as well. Uh, Adam returns as the Green Ranger and probably my favorite ranger in the first half of this season. That's right. Tommy was my first uh, favorite ranger of all time before Turbo. But by Turbo, I feel like Tommy had become kind of exhausting. And I don't know if that's because Jason David Frank wanted to leave by this point and he just wasn't as energetic as he was back in the earlier seasons. Maybe he was missing some of his old castmates because by this point he was the only actor from season one that was still on the show. And this is over 200 episodes already. So for Jason David Frank to still be on the show plus two movies at, by, at this point, he was probably getting a little bit tired from it. And you can kind of feel that while watching the character of Tommy. Catherine returns as Tommy's sort of love interest, I guess. They, they have a flirtation going on. Their, their romantic stuff isn't as strong as Kimberly and Tommy were, but Catherine is still a pretty good character. I like her. I think she's strong, and she in I love Australian accents, so Catherine Sutherland really uh, is just really enjoyable to watch. Tanya is also back as the Yellow Ranger. She was like, the, she's the one that took over for Aisha at the beginning of Power Rangers Zio. And uh, she's, again, a very strong character. And I like her and Adam's play off each other. I think both of those Rangers uh, definitely have good chemistry there. For the most part, I feel that the first half of the season didn't really play with the stories uh, very well. I thought they were weird and kind of awkward stories. Uh, mixed with this weird foot, very Japanese-ish footage. Like this was the season where I finally realized, I tried convincing myself it wasn't, 
But this was the season where I really started noticing that, hey, how come there's a lot of Japanese signs and stuff like that in the background and on the road and stuff like that? This was the first season where I really started to notice that. Uh, because I think it is a lot more noticeable here than it was in some of the previous seasons. We also got a brand new cast of villains led by Diva Tox. I should also note that Diva Tox was played by a different actress in the movie called Hilary Shepard. And in this one, she's Carol Ho Hoyt, I guess. And uh, I will admit, Carol Hoyt, uh, she's not my favorite Diva Tox. I think I like Hilary Shepard a little bit more. Uh, I, I felt she had more energy to her, uh, but I did like Carol Hoyt as uh, Demetria, uh, who is the Ranger's new mentor, because in the beginning of this season, spoiler alert, Zordon and Alpha 5 leave, and they are replaced by Demetria and Alpha 6. That's right, Alpha, Alpha 6 in a long line of Alphas, from what we're told. I should also point out that Alpha 6 is probably the most annoying uh, supporting character in the history of the series and you just want them to sh shut the hell up. Thankfully his voice changes in the next season, Power Rangers in Space. But you can tell, I mean, we have 45 episodes of Power Rangers Turbo, so 45 episodes of putting up with this dumb voice. Then we have the New Rangers, and I will say I actually enjoy the New Rangers a lot more. Maybe they bring something fresh to the table, I don't know what it is, but I do enjoy this cast. And TJ, TJ is our first African-American Red Ranger. This season should have had a lot more attention to it, especially since the first season was called out for being racist. This season, you can see they were trying to fix things. They were trying to make up for what they did in the beginning, accidental or not. I thought it was really cool, and TJ is one of the coolest Red Rangers out there, in my opinion. We also got Ashley, who's pretty much the new Kimberly by this point, because she's freaking hot. Look, I know it's not professional to call actresses hot, but look, I had a huge crush on Tracy Lynn Cruz back in the day, and uh, I'm just gonna call it like it is. We also got Cassie, played by Patricia Jolly, and I, I will say I like Cassie a lot. I think this was a great cast, and Cassie was a really tough pink ranger that I think a lot of girls could look up to. Same thing with Ashley. I also really like Carlos, but I think out of all the new members, I think Carlos was my least favorite of the group because he was kind of like hard-headed sometimes that got annoying once in a while. Uh, there was this dumb episode where he turns into a vampire. Bulk and Skull are back in this season and you know despite the fact that the original the the first turbo team the the teenagers leave because they graduate from high school uh, they Bulk and Skull still stick around for the second half of the season so that kind of still had that connective tissue uh, still going for it. I will say it is really cool seeing uh, how the season ended. The season ends on a very high note and a great lead-in to Power Rangers in Space, which would be the sixth season. Uh, I think a lot happens. I don't want to spoil it for anyone that hasn't seen Power Rangers Turbo, but if you do check it out, it definitely has that momentum that the end of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers has. And uh, I want to keep it a little bit quiet but there it is a really good setup for what's to come and I remember at the time it really got me excited as a fan so overall I am going to say turbo what starts off not so great I think it actually got more enjoyable once it got to the second half when the new Rangers took over I thought they were nice and refreshing as something that the show needed they needed new characters to take over for the old ones because the old ones were getting a little tiresome except for Adam who I thought was really good still but uh, it was a good move on switching the cast and because of that the show started to to uh, succeed again slowly in the ratings the, the rating is actually for the second half of Turbo started going a little bit more higher as well as the 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 toy sales for the series so I think making that choice and replacing the old Rangers actually helped a lot and uh, with that being said, guys, I'm ending it here. Power Rangers Turbo, the fifth season of the series, aired in 1997 uh, throughout from April to November. And uh, next time we got Power Rangers in Space, which is considered the end of the Zordon era. Can't wait to talk about that season because it's my favorite season of all time. And with that being said, guys, take care.